think about what kind of routine you may want for your summer. You might want to totally throw a routine out of the window because you're sick of the routine imposed by school and that is okay. This may not suit everyone. Perhaps if you still got small children or babies that still nap, you're still gonna have to work around their routine when I had not just school-aged children but babies as well. And I very much structured our days around the babies' nap times and things and planned when we'd be going out, when we'd be staying in, around those. Now my children are older, I don't have to be constricted by nap times and things like that anymore. I still like to use a certain level of routine through the summer, partly because my children have autism and respond quite well to routine, partly because in years where I haven't done, it's not gone quite as well as I may have hoped. We tend to stick to eating at the same time, so that forms a natural rhythm to our days and our routines. One thing I had found is that sticking to a bedtime routine, not necessarily the bedtime that we had for school, but an early ish bedtime routine for five days out of the seven and then later nights for just two of the nights the same way we would on the weekends makes it much easier to keep everyone kind of happier through the summer and then also to readjust back to a normal school routine. What works for our family routine may be different for yours but think about which particular routine will work best for you.